In the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression, millions of Americans are out of work, and some have fallen further than they ever imagined. In downtown Seattle, I find Mary's Place, a day shelter for homeless women and children where 80% of the families are experiencing homelessness for the very first time. Executive Director Marty Hartman tells me their numbers have more than tripled in the past year and a half. I wish we would have braced for it better so be able to handle the influx, to not have to turn people away with a tent. Are you noticing a big difference in the kinds of people who have been needing your help in the last year? Very much so. Professionals that have lost their jobs, uh, with the loss of jobs came unemployment, with the loss of unemployment came evictions, and those are the people we're seeing that have run out of resources. They need a hand up while they're waiting for the jobs and for housing to come. At Mary's Place, many women are looking for a fresh start, but asking for help isn't easy. And I had the SUV, a nice home, and lots of clothes. <laughs> lots of clothes. I love clothes. This is Sally. At 59 years old, Sally maintained a successful career as a property manager, making up to $80,000 a year. An accident changed everything. Well, I was actually walking to my vehicle to get in the car and go to the office and didn't realize the walkway was very, very icy and there was a little bit of a hill, but I ended up taking a really, really bad fall. Long hospital stays, multiple surgeries, and expensive medical bills put Sally in the red. Your life totally spiraled downward. Yeah, I had recover. a nice, I was somebody who had jogged for 25 years. So you take that type of a person, and then all of a sudden I could hardly get up to go to the bathroom. And I went into a severe depression. I couldn't work. Um, I eventually over lost everything I had. I mean, my 401k was gone, all my savings was gone, I lost my home, my vehicle. Homeless for the first time, Sally found Mary's place. I mean, thank God there are places like this because just the love and the support, I slowly started, you know, you come out, coming out of the depression. Nearing retirement, Sally returned to her feet with the assistance of Social Security, but she had to fight for it. What would you do without Social Security? I don't know. I was, end up homeless that March, and in June, um, I was admitted to the hospital in critical condition and wasn't expected to live and who still had to fight for those benefits that I had worked for. Yeah, you contributed to Social Security your entire life. Yeah. And then you had to fight for it. Today, Sally volunteers at the very place that helped save her. When I can, I'm here and I love giving back and I've met a lot of wonderful people. You know, the people that do believe in this and have seen more. For Sally, the support of Mary's Place was just what she needed to heal from the shock and trauma of homelessness. And as I look around, I realize she's not alone. There are many just like her trying to return to stable ground. What's the thing that people need most? Love, acceptance, and a community of people to love them and share resources with them to rebuild their lives. Everybody wants to maintain that sense of normalcy. Everybody wants a safe place to call home, a place to be warm and together. For more information on how you can help the homeless women and children in Seattle, please visit www.marysplace.org.